Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for tuning in to another episode of GOW, the Generation Wrestling Podcast. It's always yours truly, the 29-year-old piece of go the franchise, aka the showstopper, better known as the GOW's resident tribal chief. And with me as always, look at my tag team partner, my brother, my family. He is the flies in the room, Mr. One, Two. Three, pin that ass down, keep breezy, aka EC's resident Isaac Hayes, King Two going in the building, bro. What's happening? Man, what's happening, man? You know what it is, man. It's Wednesday, baby, and it's the Wednesday night block party. But it's not just a block party. We're going to give you that dynamite. But we also going to give you that predictions for double or nothing, man. That's right, man. We're going for the trifecta, man. Ah, man, yeah. we gave you NXT yesterday. We gave you the WWE Night of Champions uh, about an hour ago. And now we're going to give you that double or nothing, man. So, bro, with that being said, you ready to rock with the people? Man, always, always, always. But before we do that, I need y'all to do two things, man. I need y'all to bow to your king and also. All right. With that being said, man, king, go ahead and do your thing for the people. <clears throat> All right, man. You know what? Well, the show started off with Orange Cassidy, of course, doing his one, two, for the 22nd straight time, defending this AEW International Championship against Will Fletcher, the guy who jumped him couple of weeks ago he got his title shot tonight of course man it was a nice little battle back and forth these guys definitely gave it all i don't know what orange cassidy got left my man i i don't think my man needs to do anything else i'm weary of him because he has a huge huge title defense this sunday yeah, yeah, yeah. against 20 other men in a 21 casino battle 21 yeah uh, 21 man casino battle royale and it is for his championship. The winner will become AEW International Champion. And it's kind of – I wanted to go ahead and predict on this match while we were talking about it. Let's go. But it's kind of hard to predict on it because oh, yeah. I don't know who's all in the match yet. True. So yeah. I think we're going to save this for the show. When the show comes on and we see who's actually in the match, we'll, 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 we'll go through it and finish it there. We'll kind of get our eyes on, you know, who may show it. We'll, 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 we'll have to finagle and play along with it. But – uh, we 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 gonna we'll, we'll 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 do something fun for the show, but uh, Orange Cassidy, Will Fletcher, what did you think of it, man? As I as my boy Penta just hit a sunset uh, flip on, on 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 Claudio, what do you think of that match, man? No, nah, I mean, uh, bro, you know, Orange Cassidy again, another great match, another great defense. Uh, Orange Cassidy in two hundred fifty plus days has almost. Uh, the same amount of title defenses as Roman Reigns in his damn near thousand plus days, which to me is astonishing. When you figure Roman's held the title, he's only defended it 28 times. Orange Cassidy, I believe, at this point has held the belt for 255 days. I think he's on his 22nd defense, so that is crazy in and of itself. Every match is different, but also, man, it's like. I really haven't wavered on Orange Cassidy. I'm not. I'm not tired of his run yet, but. Like you said, my man, we got a huge, huge match coming up this weekend. I don't know how you're going to get out of this one, man. But, uh, hey, hell of a run for my boy. But to answer your question, tonight's nice match against Will Fletcher. Bro, Will did his damn thing. You know, he just came up a tad bit short against the Orange Cassidy, man. But I thoroughly enjoyed this match, dude. I It was fun. I loved it. Yeah, I, I like I said, man. It, you know, this is uh, you know, this is this is what we wanted to see from Orange Cassidy, man. We wanted to see him get a, you know, somewhat of a, a decent push, and I, and and I, I have no problem with his push. I have no problem with what he's been doing. Again, man, he's been out there. He's been defending the championship. He's been having great matches. He's had more great matches than he did bad matches. Uh, and you know, hey, regardless to what 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 battle wounds he comes up with each match. He's been going out and he's been finding a way to win. <clears throat> With this type of match, I just don't know if he'll find a way to actually win then. But we'll find out in the season. Uh, <clears throat> next up, man, we got that boy Ricky Starks. Of course, man, he's talking that talk. He's entered the 21-man Battle Royale. We kind of got an idea of who, you know, a couple of people that may be in it, but not 100% sure yet. Uh, we we want to get a more feel of actually who's in the match. Um. Oh man! Right now, as we got the elite, they are oh they are helping out the uh, Lucha Bros. One, two, three, and the Lucha Bros retain their a uh, I'm sorry Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions 
as right now Claudio's catching a super kick party by the Young Bucks. <laughs> ah, that's how you do it, baby. That's how yes, you do sir. it. All right, man. But like I said, man, Ricky Starks, he was talking that talk. And then, of course, Pretty man, Ricky. Juicy had to show up. And, uh, <laughs> Juicy. Juicy had to show up. And, you know, Juicy had to show up and do what he do, man. Of course, him and Jay White put the beat down on Ricky yeah. Starks. Uh, then, of course, man, Jungle Boy cut his promo about Sunday and about his title opportunity. And then we got FTR, man. They basically came out and said, man, you know what, Jay Lethal, Jeff Jarrett, you know what? You pull one over on us. We don't blame you. We probably would have did the same thing. But eventually, in the end, you know what? It don't matter because we're going to put them hands on you. But you know what? And when, it, when we're all done with you, you can go back and call, uh, you know, the queen of the mountain. Oh, no, not your wife, not Karen, but you can go call Dixie Carter. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing that, man. He said, but, but, uh, but my point was, you know, hey, you can send them TNA rejects back on over to TNA. <laughs> he, was, he wasn't feeling it. Right now, man, as we got uh, Moxley grabbing the microphone, talking something to the, to the young bucks. Bro, let me tell you this. What's up? I'm so glad FTR resigned with AEW. Oh yeah, I'm so glad they didn't go to WWE. Yeah, me neither. I'm, 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 I'm really, I'm really glad that they stayed and they, and they stayed stuck around, man. But with that being said, you know, uh, of course, oh, can't forget Mark Briscoe coming out and putting hands on everybody. Putting the paws on. <laughs> <laughs> My thing is this, my boy Mark, he was like, you know, what's up, but you hit me with the pal driver, man. And then my boy was like, <laughs> I was blind. Bro, how the hell are you blind, but you got the wherewithal to pick another grown person up and drop them on their neck without killing them? <laughs> hey, 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 you're a wrestler. It, it comes second nature, man. Nah, 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 nah. Some of, nah, some nah, of them things you, you can do blindfolded, you, man. Nah, nah, man, nah, man. You know, money. Some of them things, man, you can do blindfolded, man. Them dudes could probably wrestle in the dark if they wanted to, man. All right, what's up with it, champ? Uh, man, Sabu. But you know what I'm saying? Nah, man. That, that I, you know, hey, Mark came out putting paws on people. But bro, yes, let's sir. go ahead and get into this prediction real quick, man. FDR. Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal, man. Who you got? Oh man, you know I got I got a 29 star FTR. You said 29 star FTR. Well, I don't blame you because uh I'm definitely not picking a Jay Lethal, even though <laughs> in a way it would be kind of weird that if they don't it 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 would it wouldn't be weird, but I could see them um I can see them. I can see them sneaking out of victory. I don't know if Mark would be a. I don't know if Mark would be a be part of it. I don't know if he would be the reason why they would uh, lose. Uh, but in a way, I kind of want to say Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal. But I, I got to stick with FDR. I got to roll with the boys, man. I can't. I can't go against the grain. If it was Jay Lethal with anybody else, sure. Jeff Jarrett, nah, 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 not at all. Not at all. Uh, then next up, man, of course, man, Sammy cut his little promo. And then, of course, we got House of Black putting a beat down on A.R. Fox, uh, Manalik, and Blake Christian. And it was just a beat down. That's just what it was. And then, of course, man, you know, they were hyping up the Anarchy and Arena match between the Blackpool Combat Club and the Elite. And then, of course, man, we got MJF. He comes out. He's cutting his promo. He's talking his talk. He's not from L.A., you know, I mean, of Las Vegas, man. He's better than everybody there. He's better than everybody in this match. You know, and even though those guys are all from AEW, they they be, they started their careers in AEW. They didn't go anywhere else in front of millions of people and, you know, made a name for themselves. They made their name there. And you got to respect that. But at the end of the day, you got to respect that he's going to be the beholder of that champion, that championship, and that TK, you know, hey, he, he, he's got the 2024. He's got the 2024. That boy Max is reminding him, man, you know, he's going to put him in a match with three other people, but the three other people he respect because, again, they were there with him since day one. Bro, what are your thoughts on MJF? And then, of course, Darby Allen coming down and talking that talk. I mean, you know, we, uh, we got the infamous reference to the bidding war of 2024, and we only five months in. To 2023. Man. Now you got MJF, the man with the plan. 
They held AEW, a whole company hostage. You feel me? Saying, hey, look, Man. I'm ready. But don't you forget, TK, I don't want to be here. Yeah, I got the belt. <laughs> I could take the ball and go home. He wants to go with Cody. But I want to tell you, though. Oh, you thought because you put the belt on me, that made me want to stay? No, I stayed because contractually I'm here. But I still don't want to be. So you better do your part or else guess what? I'm taking my ball. I'm going home. I'm going to skid that on my ass on somewhere maybe up to New York. Yes, sir. Now, with that being <laughs> said. <laughs> yeah, with okay. That, yeah, all right, right buddy. <laughs> but, well, with that being said, I, I will say this. For somebody that have is, a match with a matter battle of the Miz, <laughs> bruh. For somebody that, that is as self centered, somebody yeah. that is so self indulged, somebody yeah. that is so just full of his own shit. Right. I love the way he put over the other three men in this match. I yeah. love it because it wasn't a dig at nobody. It wasn't him being sarcastic. It was him spitting that shit. It's like, yo. Let me tell you something. We really are the four people that really started this. Nobody knew us four years ago. Now we beat the who's who. Anybody there is to beat collectively, we've done it all here in AEW. So it made the match feel important. We already know how MJF feels about himself. But the fact that he went out there and he really stressed, you know, how important a Darby Allen is, how important a Jungle Boy is, how important a Sammy Guevara is to this match, even though they may not be better than him. They are still a very integral part of this match and this company. Bro, sign me up. Four pillars. I'm ready. Jim Cornette, I hope you're ready, sir. <laughs> oh, you know, you know he's gonna be ready. Ready to talk <laughs> shit about everybody. All right, man. Um, all right. Well, let's 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 move on to the next thing and also the next match that we want to go ahead and predict on, man. Warlow cut a promo, man, on Christian Cage being a uh, you know, a master at the ladder match, which he is, man. Let's let's not let's not you know disrespect Trisha's Cage's uh you know accolades, man. That man has been a part of some of the greatest ladder matches in wrestling history. Uh, so you know you got to put some respect on that man's name there. Uh, Warlow, uh, not necessarily you know he he's he is an agile big man, but you know he's not you know he's not a high flyer. Christian, you know, kind of is not so much now because he's older, but you know, this is more of his. This is more of his game. This is more of his speed. Christian Cage versus Warlow for the TNT Championship with a Luchasaurus at Christian Cage's ringside at his beck and call to interfere and do what's needed. Bro, who do you got? All you gotta do is look at me. All you gotta do is look at me. I'm looking for the peeps. Oh, you going? You going? I'm looking you for the peeps. the peeps. I'm you looking for the peeps. the peeps. I right, going bro. with the peeps. I got Christian Ooh. Cage, bro. You got Christian Cage, man. I am. I mm-hmm. think Warlow gonna uh, retain, but you got Christian Cage. I, but I, uh, that's not a bad pick, though. Bro, you gotta pay off. You gotta pay off him and him and what you call it being a team somehow, some way, and unfortunately. <laughs> Warlow, he's already been beat enough, so I can believe it. He's a, <laughs> yeah, I guess. All right. Well, I got Warlow. You got Cage. All right. Well, next up, man, we got Ty Valkyrie. She put them paws on Lady Frost, making her debut on Dynamite, man. Uh, basically, man, this was to set up the next match we're gonna predict on. Jay Cargill, that girl who's at sixty and zero, going up against Ty Valkyrie. They're gonna go for the battle, of, the, the battle of finishing moves, pretty much mm-hmm. in this match. But it's also the battle for the TBS Championship, that bitches show championship, my guy. Who you got, bro? You got your girl, Jay. Oh, Jay Cargill. Senior, money is green. Senior girl, how you doing? Who you got, bro? Bro, I don't know if the guys will forgive me for this one. Oh. But in the words of the great Pat McAfee, for the brand, even if that means going against the culture. I love Jade. Uh I have an affinity for Jade. I respect Jade. Wow. But if Chris Statlander ain't coming back anytime soon, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sorry to say the franchise got to side with La Reda Loca, Tyre Valkyrie. 
as your new Ooh. CBS champion. Ooh, did you just say Ty Valkyrie? I'm sorry. I'm did sorry. You know franchise, hey, franchise got to keep it a buck, man. I got to keep it a, I got to keep it a hundred grand, man. Oh, you said Ty Valkyrie. Oh, man, you know what the sad part is? She's at 60 and 0. I could. What's the point it. of going 61 and 0? Like, what's the point? What's the point? I mean, the, what's the point? I, the, unless you, there are waiting for somebody else, but bro, ain't nobody on that rock. Ain't nobody on that roster. Like, unless you gonna have a few with Britt, which you're not. You ain't gonna have a few with Soraya, Tony Storm. I don't see it yet. Jamie Hayter's already got a belt. You have nobody. The only other legit person that I can think of right now would be Athena, but she's already doing her thing at AEW. She does, she's not ready yet. She doesn't her Ring own Rock. little world. Bro, yeah, excuse me, Ring Rock. Bro, nobody's ready. If Chris Statlander or Nyla Rose ain't coming back, bro, Ty Bakery, the only mm-hmm. one that makes sense. Mm-hmm. And I think she's already beat Nyla Rose like twice. So, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, you know. I, well, she's beaten quite a few people twice. I mean, you know, you know, not too many notable names, but just enough, man. Jay not losing. Quit drinking franchise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know he's franchise, but you know what? I can't go against the money, man. So I'm I'm sticking with Jay. I think there's somebody else. I don't know who, but TK has a way of just uh TK has a way of doing things, man. So I'm 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 sticking with Jay, man. I'm sticking with the green. All right, bro. So of course, speaking of TK. So he made this announcement. The first show of Collision will be in Chicago. Okay, Chicago. All right. Hmm. That's a that's an interesting place to go. There's a lot of speculation as to why Chicago is the spot, and not New York, not L.A. Hmm. You know Miami. You know, Jacksonville, you know, you could, you know, Jaguar season over it, football season over it. You can go take over the stadium. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can fill up. I'm pretty sure you can fill up. You know, you know, you can fill up the stadium. That ain't a problem. You, 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 you done that before. People going to come show up to the Jacksonville stadium. But Chicago, Chicago, hmm, I want, I wonder why Chicago. We don't, we don't have to talk about it. You know, it's just speculation. But I wonder why Chicago, man. But Man, that was bro, TK's look. announcement. TK made us wait. TK made us wait three weeks to tell us it was Chicago. But hey, you know, it, you know, it you is. know why he made us wait three weeks? Because the rumors of him and CM Punk and AEW have a little bit of a disagreement. See, what I read online, and take this with a grain of salt, but what I read online was today officially, TK and CM Punk and everybody have come to terms. They made up, it's squashed, it is what it is. Whatever that needed to be settled to make this happen has been made official. So now you got this announcement. And this is Chicago. And on top of that, they said that CM Punk is going to be the headliner of this new show. So, come on, man. Hey, look, I don't care, okay? I don't care. I know a lot of the people in the wrestling community, oh, CM Punk's a cancer, CM Punk's this, CM Punk that. I don't give a damn. Controversy, in the words of Eric Bischoff, controversy creates cash. Because despite whatever you want to say, CM Punk, you going to watch. And even more so, now that the Elite have been back for a while, you really going to watch to see what CM Punk do. Because now the Elite going to be over here. CM Punk going to be over here. Okay. Now let's see. CM Punk, you talked all that shit. You want your own show? You want your own ice cream bars? You want your own championship? You wanted everything around you, which it was supposed to be that way last year originally before you got hurt. Okay, we about to get this ball around with it. And if you're a fan of him, you're going to watch. If you want to see him fail, you're really going to watch. So I think right now, man, hey, Chicago was the perfect place to debut. All right, we're seeing, uh, I, I, hear, I hear you, but, you know, hey, that's just speculation. You know, that's just hearsay from between me and you, so. <laughs> Man, my oh, I said my damn headset went out, but it's all good. Uh, we gonna finish this out. Uh, Hangman Page, man, he you know he cut a promo. The One Eye Pirate, uh, he showed up, you know, to talk his talk. Uh, you know, basically just hyping up the Anarchy in the Arena match, which we'll we'll, we'll talk about that a little later. 
But next up, man, we got the contract signing for the unsanctioned match between Adam Cole and Chris Jericho, which, of course, you know, it's just a formality that these two guys agree that they'll have this match and AEW yeah. is not responsible for anything and they'll beat the hell out of each other. Uh, they talk trash to each other. Chris reminded Cole about the beating that his wife took, his girlfriend, whatever. And then yeah. what did Adam Cole do? He says, I'm going to bring out an old guy. Let's bring out Sabu. <sighs> I didn't care for Sabu. I'm going to be honest. I I I I appreciate Sabu, but it was like, ah man, you are gonna bring somebody? You are gonna bring somebody? You brought somebody who well, I we're not. I, no, I I don't. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. You know what? This is. I'm cool. All I'm this cool. means. I'm all this good. means is that Chris Jericho is gonna bring back the pain maker. That's all that means. That's all that means. That that's it. That's it. All right, well, 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 with that being said, uh, Jericho, Adam Cole, who you got? Because now it's five on three. It was five on two, but now it's five on three. So <laughs> see, it's not, it's something telling me, something telling me, TK got got an ace up his sleeve, man. Like you're not gonna have me believe that out of all the people, if it's gonna be a five on three, you already at a disadvantage. Even if the other two people for the for the Jericho Appreciation Society were chumps, you're still at a disadvantage. The numbers game is a numbers game. You can't tell me that old ass Sabu, with all due respect. <laughs> that's your equalizer? No, 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 no. Somebody else or somebody else's are in the back waiting to come on out. So, with that being said, I'm going to say Adam Cole, baby. Let's go. You say Adam Cole. I got Adam Cole. Hey, man, look, we, hey, 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 we feeling bold tonight, man. You know, we, 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 we feeling real bold. Feeling real bold, feeling real bold, feeling real bold. I can't lie, man. I I, I feel like Jericho would be the perfect choice, uh, mm-hmm. to because I there's shenanigans. Uh, there, there's always gonna be shenanigans. Yeah. Uh, Adam Cole's just getting back. It'd be good to get his foot working in. But then again, this could be something they could be building on. But then again, I gotta go with Adam Cole. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna front Adam yeah. Cole. Man. I, I came up front. I'm not. I, yeah, I I love Jericho, but uh, yeah, Adam. I was about to say, Adam, 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 Adam Cole, baby. baby. We got to go there, man. It is. Yeah. All right, man. So we had that. Roddy Strong beat Garcia. You mm-hmm, know, mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. was what it was. And then, of course, man, we had the tag team match for the um, ROH Tag Team Championships, you know. Mm-hmm. Versus Claudio and Willa Yuta. Uh, you know, Lucha Bros retained after the uh, Young Bucks came out and helped them, uh, you know, interfere and, and retain their championship. Uh, of course, Tony Storm, of course, previous before that, she cut a promo. I'm sorry. She cut a promo on Jamie Hader. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. But, uh, guy, my guy, man, let's, let's, let's talk about this BCC versus the Elite. Man. Yeah. Man. This is what I love about AEW because some matches I really weren't sure about. Like, I could see one group winning it, but I could see another group winning it for yeah. some, for specific reasons. So it's like I don't know which way to go. Uh, I know which way I want to go, but it's like I, I can go with any e- either answer, and I wouldn't be surprised if the other one had won. If that made sense. Like, no, it's, no, like no. Yeah. it's like it's like I, I can see if they win, but then I can see why they can win. But and honestly, <laughs> I'm I'm thinking the Blackpool Combat Club is going to win this match. I'm thinking. Hmm. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's funny because. Uh, right before I, I fixed my lips to say who I was going to pick, you said something that kind of resonated with me because I too have my opinion on who I feel is or should. But then again, like you say, I wouldn't be surprised if the other team, you're like, duh, like, of course they win. It's like, I can see them winning, but it's like, I, damn, but 
And it's like, and even if I see the other team winning, it's like, but I can see what's going to happen afterwards. Yeah. But it's like, but who's going to win? Who's going to win Sunday? Damn it! <laughs> we need to know who's going to win Sunday. So, because you know I don't what? see this being over, but it's all about who's going to win the first one. I love the elite. I love the fact that Hangman is, you know, joined them back. Right. But bro, the Blackpool Combat Club, bro, they too tough. They too tough. And with the man. BCC too, bro. Because I'm thinking, like, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't see them beating Claudio, Mox, Yuta, and Danielson. Like, bro, them is four bad hardcore motherfuckers, man. They like, could. I mean, they could. I mean, they could, bro. And I wouldn't be surprised. But I just, for my money, man, my money, brother. I, 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 I can't. I can't. I, I feel like the elite man. They they need one more person, man. One, you you can you can interchange anybody but Omega in that group. You need one more person of a of of a other ilk for me to believe that the BCC gonna lose right now, man. Okay, I just, I wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute, wait 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 wait. You say you can't change Omega, so you would take Paige out of this? I'm putting I'm finna paint you in the corner because. That only leads you to the Young Bucks. So you're not taking out Omega. I don't believe you want to take out Hangman Page. So Man, who's the other person that you're going to take out this group and add to the group to make it more better? One of the Bucks got to go. One of the Bucks, one of the gotta, bucks go. gotta go? One of the, one of, the one Bucks got to go. One of the Bucks got to go. Ooh, damn. One of the Bucks. I, I love the Bucks. You is I feeling real spicy over there. You, you I, really I, is feeling spicy over there. Bro, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. One of the Bucks yeah. gotta go. I, 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 in the tag team match, I picked the Bucks seven days of the week. And the solo and the and the singles, I'm not picking neither one of the Bucks over over Hangman or Kenny, especially not over Kenny. I'm sorry, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. All right, well, you got the BCC, I got the BCC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, all right, all right. Well, look, you know what? That's uh. <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be a hell of a pay per view. <laughs> yeah. Man, hot man, dude. Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> yeah. man. Some of these picks that we didn't made for, <laughs> for these papers, man. I'm like, man, this is going. Man, these numbers are gonna be crazy. <laughs> these numbers are gonna be crazy at the end of it. Oh man. All right. Um, what what's next, man? What happened? Oh, we we we. The show is over. Show was done. We we done with yeah. the show. Uh, I'm just getting to the last two matches that we need to predict on mm -hmm. women's match. Man, we got Jamie Hader versus Tony Storm. Jamie Hader's hurt. Uh, you you know how this thing plays out with a hurt wrestler. Uh, yeah, yeah. Jamie Hader's hurt. Yeah. Uh, who you got? Uh, it's Tony Storm. Bruh. It's, it's the former AEW women inner inner women's champion who didn't really get to be in you know world champion, but. You know, she got to have the name after she lost it, but she didn't get to be the world champion, you know, legitimately when she had the belt. So, I, I, uh, you know, what's crazy too, Cole. Your that, boy about that, to that, shake some tables. Cool. I'm about to make people question my insanity. I am not inebriated at all when I say this. Yeah, right. Jamie Hader will retain i'm about to say i'm about to say because i was about to say i see her retaining too yeah yeah sorry lcj sorry to disappoint you but <laughs> jamie hated it tony gonna get that no tony ain't gonna get that man all right man all right last match yes sir That's yes sir the one that the one that matters the one that's the one that everybody's uh the one that matters. Um, yeah. Sammy Guevara versus Jungle Boy versus that boy Darby Allen versus mm -hmm. Triple B champion himself. Yes, sir. MJF. Yes, sir. Fatal four way, four way match, whatever, for the AEW World Heavyweight Championship. Mm -hmm. Four people. Yeah. Winner gets two points. You got who you got for sure. I already kind of know who you got. 
Yeah, Actually, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, because it's kind of a foregone conclusion. So now I'm gonna take away the two points. We're just gonna leave it as a match. One, four people. Who you got? One winner is one point. A great showing by everybody, but I got MJF winning. Yeah, because I feel the same way. <laughs> I feel the same way. I feel I. You invested too much into him getting this damn belt. Yeah, bro. All the shenanigans he done pulled, bro. Yeah, he ain't, he ain't lose. Nah, 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 not right now. <laughs> not, it's, not right now. Not right now. But I think uh, it's gonna be a great match. I'm going to dare say this might be match of the night. I'm gonna go ahead and cash my bet in now. I, I, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, if it ain't number one, number two. I mean, you know, TK definitely. Uh, I mean, it's only eight matches. You know, he's taking his pay per view yeah. down from twelve to fifteen to tw- to ten to eight. <laughs> I mean, the match card has only got eight matches. I yeah. can't be mad at that, man. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm. TK's been very conscious about. He's been conscious about that. So. Oh, Proud of God him. Almighty. I need my boy to still do better with his announcements. But other than that. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I'm 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 looking forward to the pay per view, man. Like I said, man, yeah. we're gonna have a hell of a wrestling weekend. Um, you know, Saturday and Sunday. Of course, man, we will be live and direct for wow. afternoon of champions. We will also yeah. be live and direct for double or nothing. We will not be live and direct for NXT. It is the one that has got voted out. Uh <laughs> <laughs> it got voted out. It's not getting you are the weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs> but we will, but we will talk about it on Monday before we talk yes, about. Yes. Uh, yeah, we will talk about it Monday. We're not gonna wait till Tuesday. Uh, we'll talk. Yeah, we'll get it out the way on Monday. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we'll do that. Um, we'll talk about that, and we'll, of course, we'll give you the numbers on who lost, which will hopefully be him. Um, and yeah, man. Other than that, uh, tell my little homie, man. You know, best best wishes to him. Yes, uh, sir. And you know. Send us on to the house, man. You know, that's our prediction. That's the block party. We got to get out of here. Yes, sir. Man, this man about to get spanked like a newborn baby fresh out the womb. With that being <laughs> said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for tuning in to another episode of GOW, the Generation Wrestling Podcast. As always, it's yours truly, the 29-year-old piece of gold. He's your king too cold. And until Saturday. We'll see you we'll 1 p.m. First, first midday live show, man. The GOW. Ooh, we. Hopefully, we don't get canceled. Ooh, we. Ooh, we. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. Peace. <laughs>